Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonmoon.com and today we're gonna to be doing a make dinner with me or make dinner with us for tonight and that will be cheeseburger soup. So we have to leave here in the next 20 minutes or so to go to my midwife appointment, which is all the way about an hour away. Then I need to go bring my lens, which has been really acting up on my camera to the camera store. And so this is one of those days where it's important that we get dinner going before we go. So I prepared ahead by this morning, putting in my Instant Pot some bones and water to make homemade bone broth, which I have a whole tutorial about here on my YouTube channel, how to make bone broth in the Instant Pot. It's really easy and then it's a really healthy base for a great dinner. Now cheeseburger soup is something we make a lot. It's one of your favorite soups. Mm -hmm. I think it's all of their favorite soup that we make. Actually, actually potato. Potato soup's your favorite? Yeah. I have a recipe for that here too. So we are going to get this going so that when we come home probably at six, seven o'clock tonight, we will have dinner. Of course it's summer and soup isn't usually a summer thing, but we like to keep eating bone broth all summer long. So we make this year round. We're gonna start this process by straining off the bones from the liquid in the Instant Pot to get the homemade bone broth. Now I like to do this just directly into the pot that I'm gonna be making the soup in. In my perfect world, I never transfer the bone broth to jars and put it in the fridge because then there's just less dishes. So I usually like to go from making a whole chicken in the Instant Pot to making broth to go straight to making soup and then there's just as little dishes as possible that way. Next, we're going to cut up some celery. Now I'll have an actual exact recipe for this on the blog if you want something to print out in the description below but we're going to keep this video really casual really we never measure we just cut up as much of each vegetable as we want or have on hand the burger and the cheese and the salt and broth is what really makes this soup you can add any other amount of vegetables that you have on hand next we're going to cut up two whole onions now again, I'm making this for my family size. We are a family of seven, and then I love to have leftovers, so we'll probably eat this at least two times, which is always my goal. Leftovers are good. About five or six whole carrots, and about six large potatoes. Next, we're going to mince up a whole head of garlic. You, know, you can never have too much garlic in a soup. It just flavors the broth, makes everything delicious. Next, I'm just gonna put all those veggies in with the broth and allow them to simmer for about 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna cook up two pounds of ground beef. So I used to make this soup all in one pot I would just put all the vegetables, the broth, the meat in there, and I'd let the meat simmer to cook. But I discovered that it's a lot more delicious if you cook the beef separately and add it in after all the vegetables have cooked and not cook the beef in with the broth. It just kind of makes the meat really flavorless and it's not ideal. Just gonna add some dried parsley or fresh, whatever you have in your garden. Parsley and basil are delicious in the soup and salt and pepper to taste. Now, if you're using homemade bone broth, your salt amount is gonna be different than ours because the broth is unsalted. Everything in this is unsalted. I did add a little bit of salt to the beef but so far it's unsalted, so I just add it and I do a little taste. It's really important to get it properly seasoned. That's what makes it so delicious. After the vegetables are nice and soft, I'm just gonna add the beef. Then we're gonna shred up a whole bunch of cheddar cheese. We used a 10 ounce block. That is a lot of cheese, but it's really delicious melted in that soup. And we're just gonna add that right to the pot of soup, stir it in, and it'll melt in that hot broth. Is that your favorite part of cheeseburger soup? Now, if you are gonna be going out for the evening like we are, we're just gonna leave this on the stove with the lid on, on the very lowest setting on simmer. Sometimes even if it's super hot, I'll just put the lid on and then just leave it on the stove top. And if we're gonna be back within like an hour or so or two hours, that's totally fine. It takes it a long time to cool down in a pot like this. So, It'll be perfect and ready. It's not gonna go back in the fridge for us when we get home. Now, if you're gonna be serving it right away and you need to cool it down, one of the tricks I do sometimes 
is throw in a bag of frozen peas or frozen green beans. The heat from the broth cooks them enough and then it gets cooled down. And then add some sour cream, some avocado, it'll cool it down really quick because obviously it's gonna come out so hot and if you wanna eat it right away, that can sometimes be a problem. All right, well, we hope you enjoyed making dinner with us tonight. We are looking forward to eating our cheeseburger soup several hours from now. And if you want this recipe in the printable version, head on over to the blog, farmhousehomemade.com. I'll leave the link to this exact post in the description below. This is a great way to use up some homemade bone broth, which is gut healthy and delicious. All right, well, if you're brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch. Do you know the rest of it? Homemade. Natural. Natural living and handmade. <laughs> Thanks so much for stopping by the farmhouse. Thanks so much for stopping by the farmhouse. Peace out. Bye. Don't put that part in. <laughs> okay, you're gonna go get Jack Jack. Thanks for helping, Hannah. Yeah.